Hello fellow gamers, it is Ice and the Player, and welcome to Dark Souls Prepare to Die Edition. I've never beaten this game. I've beaten Bloodborne and Dark Souls 3 many a times, like, I can't even count them. And I've just recently beaten Dark Souls 2 Skull First Sin Edition on the PS4, and I like that game a lot. But I've never beaten what some consider the greatest game, video game of all time, well at least the best Dark Souls, Dark Souls 1. I've never beaten this game, I've played it. I've played it a couple of times, I uh, think I've gotten quite far, but I've never actually beaten it, so let's do that, let's start a new game, and, oh yeah, great character, this is gonna take some time, my god, okay, enter character's name, I got it, of course, not that hard, um, do we wanna go male or female, why is the plate red over there? Yeah, let's go with male. I usually never play males in these games, so let's check this out. Um, ooh, the Wanderer. Aimless Wanderer. Wheel Scimitar. High Dexterity. Ooh, the Wanderer. This is a classic. I always start with in Dark Souls 2. Thief is also good. Uh, starts with a uh, Master Key, but I can just use that as a gift. I'm gonna use the Master Key as a gift, so I don't get stuck. Because I'm stupid or something. Uh, do we actually really care about this? Hair. Hair is important. Let's go with like a Samurai kind of ponytail. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, hair color. Uh... Let's go some grayer. He's a little bit more mature. Yeah, there you go. Do we customize him at all? Yeah, let's customize him a little bit, I guess. All right, whatever. Here we go. I'm not going to mess with this anymore. How do I get out of here? Thank you. Um, this is just a weird character. I don't know why his eyebrows are pink, but they are. So let's just go with it. Except we're going to be level three. That's that's pretty low level. Is that like the lowest level you start like with any Souls character? I don't know. Whatever. Let's get right to this. Start with this character. In the age of ancients, quite old the world times, was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. Okay. Ooh, he looks creepy. He's very spooky. Very spooky. But then there was fire, and with fire. Came disparity, heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark. Then from the dark they came. There's no way to skip this cutscene, by the way. So, you know, don't blame me if you've seen this a billion times before. Nito, the first of the day. Wait, you want to tell me he's the first one to have ever died? That's some big honor right there. Very beautiful lips she had there. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight, and his faithful knights. You know this furtive pygmy, so easily forgotten. <laughs> this one dude right here, so easily forgotten, and yet he's got such a huge part to play. So this is kind of like Zeus in the Hercules movie, when all the titans started appearing, he just kind of starts throwing lightning bolts, it's cool. <laughs> he just looks so goofy! He just has like a freaking blanket on him! Ooh, see, please! You look a little gross there, you need to put on something. Put on a coat or something, please. It's a little bit bloody, I don't like it. It's actually kind of, actually looks a little bit gross. Thus began the age of fire. Looking very much like, you know, but European Middle Ages. Flames will fade, and only dark will very soon, about, you know, six years later with Dark Souls 3. 
And then we still don't know if the fire fully fades, so who cares? I hate how inconsistent the pronunciation of that word is, by the way. Accursed or cursed. Stop changing. Keep that consistent, please. A guy who, you know, English is not my native language. I need to know which one is the more appropriate one. Here we go. Time to start some Dark Souls. So, this is the PC version. Alright, so hold on to yours. I'll be using the DS Fix version. And I'm not sure how it's going to react to me trying to record it. So we might have some issues. It's definitely not going to get 60 FPS. And Dark Souls 3 did. So keep that in mind. <laughs> Someone just threw up in there. Gotta clean it up, guys. Where are the jailers at? They're going to steal my max HP. I don't want that. That'd be one heck of a way of starting the game. Immediately removing your max HP. Like, as it starts. Wow, imagine that. The Earth Hill Dungeons are... Imagine if we just started there. Ooh. Oh, weird. Look, weird. I'm waiting for something to happen. My guy's just kind of sitting out over there. I was playing a god. That's so rare for me, man. Oh, dude! Zombie corpse. Sup? Yep. I see you there. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. Didn't even say a word. What a rude dude. What a rude dude. But he threw me a glowy. I shall approach it. Reach out and touch. Catch the glowy. Ah, right, here we go. Uh, uh, wait, 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 wait a second. I just have a broken sword with me. Wouldn't they take that away from me? Yeah, I got a dungeon cell key. Okay, cool. So, just making sure all the... Uh, buttons are the exact same as I'm used to. Yep, seems that way. I, f I always thought that the UI in this one looks really weird. Like the zero for humanity and all that. I know they changed all these things in Dark Souls 2 and Dark Souls 3, but still, it's just kind of weird for this being the first one in line. Right, so camera. Okay, so we don't need all these little controls. I know how to do this game. Don't worry. Play Dark Souls many a times. We good. We good. All is good in the hood. Do these guys even attack me? I'm just supposed to stab this guy in the back? No, apparently not the thing. Let me check that. Did I just miss something there? Excuse me. Strong attack. Nope. Didn't actually... Oi! What are you? Hey, little buddy. You wanna fight me? You wanna go? Yeah, get at me! Apparently I'm... Apparently I'm, t I'm too small in his eyes to even bother looking at me. Can I open that? Can I... I'm, I'm immediately looking for illusionary walls. Immediately start looking. Just hit every wall. Uh, okay, well, I already know how to do that. Thanks. Uh, are you... Your eyes are blinking. They're not consistently red. You're like a Halloween decoration. Perfect for October 1st, by the way. Die, good sir. It's not- it's- it's like I'm just punching him. I'm not even cutting him of anything. I'm just punching him. Let's check out the description here, because of course, that's, you know, one of the main things. My god, the UI in this game. I haven't played this in a while, so... Damn, this looks... Compared to the new ones, this looks really... Mm. Weapon type, straight sword, blah blah. The hilt of his lost sword was found discarded in the under asylum. Only slightly better than one with bare hands and not recommended for extensive use. Be certain to find a replacement quickly. Thanks for that. Soon to be. Yep, nope. There are some uh, frame drops. I'm not sure if that's just the DS Fix version, if that's the Dark Souls 1 of the PC on its own, or if it's because I'm recording it. We're just going to have a lot of issues with this. Respawn flight, recover HP. But I do not have the PS3 version, so. You know. Wow, that. that mm. Uh, that, uh, somebody tell me if this is how it's supposed to look. The smallest of all fires. Let's open that. Let's go. But who cares, honestly, like, how much flames surround the bonfire and ain't that important. Oh, you can see him up there. Oh, that, hey, hey, what, what? Oh, it's like blurry once you get in to surprise you, but, oh, okay, I see. I see. Well, not today, mister. Do you want to like fight him? No, you know what? Not, 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 not with this weapon. This would even if I did good, this would take forever, and then I get one shot. So no, I don't really want to deal with them. Yeah, that's not 
the most extensive fire I've ever seen. But whatever, you know, game, you just take it slowly. Get your shields. Get dying shields, and then we'll throw it away because I don't care about shields. Ow! Okay, maybe I'll just equip it quickly for a second. With the shield equipped, God, and then repulse, which apparently is super important. You know, the shields. Um, this is the one thing I've learned from the community banter about Dark Souls 1. Final boss, use repulse. <laughs> That's all I've ever learned about this game. Alright, Scimitar, there we go. Let's see quickly what moves that it has in this game. Okay! Okay! So it has, you know, the good one! The good moveset! Why does Dark Souls 2 have such a terrible moveset for curved swords? This is what I wanted! I, I swear to- because I loved, in Dark Souls 3, I loved the Scimitar and the Curve, the Celsar, Twin Blades, I loved all those weapons. And then I played Dark Souls 2, the, 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 the Scimitars have like horrible swings in Dark Souls 2, like, it's terrible. And I was like, is that how Dark Souls 1 did it? No, Dark Souls 1 did it much better. Dark Souls 2 can just, you know. I want to say many things, but YouTube don't like me when I do that, so it's just... Whoa! Frame rate, please! Try to calm down here. Might have to get the PS3 version if this is going to continue like that. Backstab. Yeah, this is so much better than the DS2 moveset. Oh my god. The one thing I will give DS2 over DS1 and DS3 is that it had twin blades. And you don't mess with my twin blades, man. Like, if those had been back in Dark Souls 3, that would not even be a competition. I would just be building twin blades all the time. Oh, let me, let me two hand that. Yep. Just like in Dark Souls 3. I don't know why you couldn't have that in Dark Souls 2. I would have enjoyed that. Very much so. I think I can break that with my bare hands. Not that I'm try to have a scimitar after all. Do these break? I can't tell. Durability, 160 out of 160, okay. So I'm guessing, since this is the first one, it don't have the durability bar at the bottom, uh, below the items, like the old ones, uh, like the new ones do. <laughs> yeah, I know your ways. I know your ways, you stinking, rotten undead. Hello there. Oh, you. You're no hollow. I mean, look at my face. I'm an undead for sure. I'll die soon. The hollows are when the undead go lose their way all, all the way, right? Yeah, so, yeah. He's just kind of like, sure, what is your decision? Of course I'll your mind. He saved me, so... Absolutely. Alright. Well, that's sweet. Can you give me all your gear while we're at it? Guess not. Oh, yes, yes. An Estus flask. Oh, uh, that's actually important. That's actually more important than his gear, yeah. Hey, five, good. Under the Asylum, F2 East Key. So you see how your kneecaps kind of like glitching through there? It's kind of weird. Now I must bid farewell. You're dying. That's not the same thing. Rest at bonfire to replenish Estus Flask. Yes. Use item. I'm not going to do that right now. That would be a waste. Yeah, you can hear him. You can hear him die there. I like how his model actually had to stand up to die. Interesting. Either way, that's a sad ending there. Oh, gosh. Gosh. Gah. Ah, gee. Ah, Willikers. Can't swear. I don't know what to do. I'm so used to swearing. Wheel red. Yeah, I, I got that. Thanks. Uh, left stick kick. I'm not sure what these do with the scimitar. Of course, with the high... Is it supposed to knock the shield away entirely or just reduce their stamina? Because whenever I do this in Dark Souls 3, it does nothing for shielded enemies. Resting a bonfist revives enemies. Thank you for teaching me that. I think this... I, 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 okay, alright. This is so much faster than Dark Souls 2, though. I mean, it's not as fast as 3 or Bloodborne, obviously, but it's still much faster than Dark Souls 2. Let me check something, just to make sure. Brightness. Just brightness until flames invisible, dragon invisible. Um... I guess like this. Is this how I'm supposed to be playing the game? I like playing the game with the brightness that the developer tells me to, because that gives it more of a mood and an atmosphere, but I think this might be a little bit too dark. I still want you guys to actually be able to see what's happening in the freaking game. 
Oh, he has a shield. I remember the shield. I used to use the shield when I played this game. This shield in particular was was my main shield throughout the whole game. Well, you didn't react fast enough, dude. It's locked. I'm not sure if I ever figured out what's back here. I also do like the running animations in this game. I think this and three do have my most favorite running animations. Might be the share the same ones. I don't know. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Oh, buddy! Oh, oh, I forgot. Oh, I forgot. Oh, I forgot one thing, one very important thing that makes Dark Souls 1 a little bit more intense to play. And that's the fact that when you're locked on, you cannot diagonally uh, roll. Oh, you can't actually even move in this one when you use your Asus Flash. That's, that's good to know. Also, I have just come to a decision. I do not think that we can actually do a full playthrough of the PC version here unless I figure something out. Because it just dipped down to 20 FPS. Try to dodge attacks in Dark Souls with 20 FPS at your disposal. That is... Mm, use Big Pilgrim's Key. Alright, got it. But this is... In that case, this will be a taste of me playing Dark Souls 1. If you want me to play more of this, I might purchase the PS3 edition so we can stream or uh, record that. Good job. Go straight ahead. Shall do. Thanks. My god, the frame drops are ridiculous though. Like, for real. Uh, okay. Hello? Only in the ancient legends it is stated is somebody talking to me? Or is it just a narrator? Oh, Jesus! Why was it the stream of the Nazgul? To leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage. Yes, that's us. That's that's us for me right here. Hello. I don't want to be in that asylum for any longer. Is that it? Lord there we went. Lordren. Yes. Completely different from Lothric or, you know, Drang Lake, it's Lodren. Seriously, guys, what, you, you couldn't come up with anything more creative and unique than that? Ah, uh, yo, Bird, he seems to be freaking out over there, stuttering mid-flight. Is this it? Is this Lodren? That it is! Goodbye, Bird! Ooh, familiar sound, the soothing sound of the bonfire in the background. That's pretty neat. In Lodron, level up and kindle at bonfires. Uh, okay, this is definitely a little bit dark, and the frame rate is at around 18. Yeah, that. Well, so like I said, that'll be around. That'll be about a sample of what it would look like, what what it could look like if I played Dark Souls One on this channel. And so if you want to see that, you know, leave a like and a comment, and keep subscribing for more. And if you know I get enough feedback on that, I will go down to my local GameStop, get myself a copy of Dark Souls: Prepare to Die for the PS3, and we'll be recording that instead. And until next time. Game on.